YouTube, what is going on, man? Welcome back to another video. As you guys can already tell by the title of today's video, it's happening, man. Um, issued military deployment gear. You guys can see right there behind me, see that duffel bag? We're about to dive into that bag, show you guys all the contents in that bag. Uh, the box is right there behind me, too. Um, basically, just speaking of all the stuff you get issued prior to deployment. Um, I meant to include it in the previous video that I just dropped, the BTZ video, but um, I didn't. I just forgot to add it in that video. I didn't want to make it too long, but hopefully this one's not too lengthy either. But before we do dive into the video, I just want to go through a little intro with you guys and speak on like updates that's been happening and changes. Uh, basically, reasons why I've been like kind of just gone from YouTube with not posting videos for a couple months. Um, so first and foremost, uh, we're in the process of moving. You know, we just moved uh, in, into a new spot, so moving and like just work and, and YouTube, you know, all that like these things kind of take time. So. Um, I had to set the camera down aside for that while we were getting everything situated and set up in the new house. Um, next, um, just work in general, man. I mean, you know, obviously you got to see the last video, BTZ, so that definitely took up some uh, some other time, I guess, uh, focusing on that because I knew my BTZ window was coming up. Um, college work, I'm still uh, enrolled in college right now, taking a few classes. I was actually taking three, I had to drop one. So now I'm down to two classes. Um, I literally just turned on my Xbox today after like two weeks, uh, just got me a little busy. And lastly, I am now in dispatch. I don't know if I mentioned that in the last video, but I am now in dispatch. Um, so my schedule has completely changed and I wanna drop a video on that as well for you guys. Um, a video on basically like dispatch and you know, us Air Force firefighters working dispatch. Cause I feel like a lot of military YouTubers make videos pertaining to firefighting or Air Force firefighting. They just basically show you all the good stuff, but you know, not to say like dispatch is all bad or anything, but it's something that's frowned upon. People don't really like going into dispatch. Every station's a little different um, for, for, I guess, depending on how long you go in there. Um, so each station will be different, but I feel like, you know, we also need to show the dispatch because it's something that's pretty important in the Air Force firefighting. Um, everybody has to go through it at some point in their career. Usually when you're a young airman, like young A1C, um, you'll, you know, serve your dispatch time. So that's that. So like I said, I'm currently in dispatch. So I want to be dropping a video for dispatch to show you guys that. Um, but without further ado, man, those are all the updates. Those are changes. And then obviously, you know, this video right here, um, I've been tasked to deploy. Obviously, I'm not going to speak on where I'm going or when I'm leaving just yet. Um, just because I can't, you know, put that information out there. But you guys just now, I guess, know that I will be getting deployed. So that's all the gear behind me. And let's go ahead and see what's in the bags. All right, so hopefully you guys can hear me pretty good. Last video, I did invest a new microphone, but I'm shooting probably a good like 10 feet from the camera. So let's see here. Actually, let's start with these boxes right here. So first one was these guys can see, man, you got two boxes. They're pretty much literally the same. They're identical. Um, and these are just basically boots, if you guys can tell already. Uh, so there's these right here um got two pairs of these which you know honestly man like the thing about like getting gear and uniform stuff in the military where you get so much of it like after these like new these two pairs of boots this is now my sixth pair of boots that i've gotten in a matter of uh, what maybe like two and a half years while being in the military um boot camp you get those two boots that you get in boot camp i got another pair while i get to these this base all three of those, they're all ABU related boots, so I can't even wear those anymore. Transition to OCPs, I got a new pair of boots for those. Um, and then now I'm getting these two, so that makes my sixth pair of boots. And honestly, these look a lot better than any of the other boots I've had. So I'm kind of excited for these, you know, but two, man. They're literally the exact same, so we'll set those aside. Now let's dive into the more important stuff, man. So right here, Aerial view of everything you guys get inside the bag. Let's zoom out here. Everything inside this bag is to keep. Um, so I'm just gonna pull out everything one by one and just kind of you know show you guys. So um, right here looks like it's two of these long sleeve crew t-shirts. Here I got two neck gaiters. Coronavirus. Um. This is like the only thing I've opened that I've gotten. I haven't opened anything really. I just want to take a look at these. You get these right here, focus. Um, they're actually pretty cool, man. You could actually change out the lens and put on like the clear ones and turn them into safety uh, goggles. 
I got three of these ice socks. Um, I guess these are good for cold weather, cold climates. Got three of those. Since we're on the topic of socks, I got a bag full of fire socks, four or five pairs of fire socks. This is for obviously, if, you know, for the warmer climates. Got another cover. This one's really tight, honestly. Next, I got this bag, which you can't really see what's inside it, but these are like goggles, like actual goggles, like kind of like snowboarding goggles. Um, you get some hockey goalkeeper gloves. <laughs> uh, these are really thick. So again, these keep you pretty warm, so that's pretty cool. Uh, next, I got a beanie. Oh, and just to be clear, like I said, I got six pairs of boots. This makes my, what, fourth pair of gloves, and then now my fourth or fifth pair of um, beanie, whatever. Like, this is like now the fifth one I own. <laughs> um, and again, some of these are ABU stuff that I've had before from from a boot camp and when I first got here, and I can't even use them anymore. Uh, here, here's another ice sock, so that means four, actually. Got two reflective belts. Um, here's another long sleeve. Where's the picture? Right here. Another long sleeve crew neck, so that's like three of those. Here's the pants, I guess, that match that uh, the long sleeve. And look at the material of this. I don't know if you guys could see it. It's kind of like got like the holes in it. Kind of like some dry fit kind of thing. It says sleep shirt, but I don't think it's really made to sleep in. Um, it's kind of like the long sleeve shirts I showed you guys earlier, but this one's got like a zip all the way up to the neck, which is pretty cool. Just four regular, uh, what do they call it? It's like the OCP Brown, Coyote Brown um, t-shirts that go into the uh, OCPs. Again, it's that same material, kind of like that breathable material, which is pretty cool. This is just a fleece, which is pretty cool because I actually don't have an OCP fleece, so that's nice I get that. Um, and then I got like a, a stack of more uniforms, guys. Like. Again, like I mentioned earlier, how many boots I've got, how many gloves and beanies. This is now just a crap ton more of OCP uniforms. I've got a crap ton more of ABU uniforms. And unfortunately, you can't even really wear those anymore because um, you know we're transitioning out of those. So that's that. Next, got this backpack. Which the backpack looks pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. I like it. Um, to be honest, I prefer the I prefer the black backpack that we got in boot camp. Um, I forgot the brand that, but it's like SOC, um, something of California. Those backpacks are really good, man. They're durable. Apex tr uh, trousers. So, yeah, that's that. This is like, I guess, if it's really cold, you put your uh, OCP pants on and you throw this on top of it. So, that right there is everything, guys. Um, and then, of course, the bag, like I mentioned, right here, which, like I said, everything you do keep except for this bag was the only thing I was told that I got to return. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of stuff. Actually, I think I'm actually forgetting a few things. Nothing too serious. There's a little envelope in here. It's just got all my um, my patches, US Air Force, um, all that stuff. My last name. Got a Coyote Brown belt. And then I got two tubes of insect repellent. So that completes everything right there that's in the uh, bag. That's everything I got to take with me for deployment. Um, like I said earlier, I got a few good videos coming over for you guys. So I just dropped the BTZ one. You guys are about to see this one coming, coming out soon. Uh, I want to get the dispatch video out for you guys. Cause like I said, that's something that's pretty important too, that I feel like people don't really show or speak on, but it's very important in fire service. It's something that we all got to go through. So I feel like that's something that just needs to be showed to you guys. So I got coming out for you guys too, is basically starting up college in the air force. Um, <clears throat> It's just something that's very important, man. Like, you know, we push on further education. I think everybody needs to know the proper steps on how to, basically how to start the process of, you know, starting college while you're in the military. So using that TA, using all those benefits that's out there available to you, um, I just want to drop a video. So somebody was able to make a PowerPoint for me and I'm just going to use their PowerPoint and make a video for that. So huge shout out to that person for that. Um, without further ado, man, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. Hope you guys learned something, man. Share the video to somebody that you possibly know who's deploying. Maybe they haven't gotten their gear yet or just share the video to anybody that you feel like sharing that video. 
If you guys like today's content, drop a like on the video. Let's try and bust 50 likes on this video. Uh, subscribe if you are new to the channel. If you enjoy my content, if you guys wanna see more fire-related content, content, military-related content, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you guys can stay tuned and be alerted and notified when I drop a new video. Sorry, I'm a little out of breath, but that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I'll catch you guys on the next video.